so today um, I want to share a testimony with you that 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 I got to experience we have an outreach week we had an outreach week where we went out to the community of Bloemfontein and we made up food parcels and obviously we need food to put in the packets and we really trusted God Apostle was speaking a lot about God's provision how it's supernatural that we should intercede for that and um, so we found out yesterday that, that we have to go and, and, and go to this food market that's open very early in the morning and we have to go buy some food there but also trust God for people to sow food into the ministry into the kingdom and Last night while I was sleeping, probably three times I woke up just feeling the urgency to pray for those people's hearts that they will be willing to sow. And the morning I picked up Niku and I told him this and then he says, what? I felt the same thing. He also woke up feeling that he has to pray for that. So it was awesome. While we were driving there, we were praying for that and really just asking God to open those people's hearts to give food for his kingdom and we got there, it was a really strange setup, and we met an uncle there that helped us. He like took us to the different places and he tells us like, yeah, this is a very good price. This is good stuff. This is nice. And um, and so that was an awesome connection point, a divine connection, I really believe. So then at the end, it turns out that everything we bought um, was at half price, except the, the potatoes. We got all of the rest at discount prices as well as just see how awesome god's provision is we got like 10 boxes of nachis at for free we got um bananas two boxes of bananas for free 20 packets of carrots for free um yeah i think that was all the things for free and then all the rest at discounted prices and it was so awesome to just see if you walk with God, if you say, God, we're doing this with you for the kingdom, his provision will be there. And um, it was really awesome to see how those people's hearts were open. The one guy, we he said, we, he'll give apples to us at half price. And so we just, afterwards, we said, can we please pray for you, sir, for your business? We prayed for him. After the prayer, he tells us, no, you know what, guys? Go get 10 boxes of notches there for yourself. It's for free. I'll, I'll give it to you. So it was really cool to see how prayer just opens the door. How people really get touched and they want to sow. Um, and I think the, the biggest thing for me was God sows back into his own kingdom. You will make the way for those things that needs to be in his kingdom. That needs to go through the church. You will make a way for that to come in. We have to ask him for that. And um, so I want to encourage you to step out in faith. God is awesome. He is the provider. So ask him for what you need. And um, I really believe he will provide for his kingdom, for his church, for his children. That is his heart. So go for it. And, and let's hear what God does. Please let us know. Thank you.